Hey guys, it's Bub here, and in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to get extended updates for Windows 7 for free. If you don't know, support for Windows 7 ended in January of 2020, meaning that Microsoft is no longer going to provide security updates for any for you or your business. However, Microsoft offered a paid license to get extended security updates until 2023. However, they are very pricey, some businesses may not even be able to afford them, and they are definitely out of reach for your typical consumer who could get a free Windows 10 upgrade. However, there are many people that did not want to upgrade to Windows 10 just because of the way that it integrates with the cloud and Microsoft accounts and things like that, where Windows 7 didn't at all. So they chose to stick on Windows 7. So today, I'm going to be showing you how to get those ESU updates for absolutely free until 2023. So to receive updates from the ESU branch, you need to be on Windows 7 Pro or Enterprise or any sort of version like that. This will not work on Windows 7 Home. So now we have to download these in the description. These are five update packages and the Bypass ESU folder, which gives us the Bypass to, of course, Bypass ESU. It's literally in the name. So I'm just going to copy these files and go ahead and paste them in the VM so we can go ahead and install the updates and run Bypass ESU. So I'm going to move Bypass ESU away and we're going to start installing through the Windows Update standalone installers. So of course I'm going to come up asking you if you want to install this update, just click yes, let it install, it shouldn't take that long. If it asks you to restart, just click close for now because we have so many updates to install. For some reason this one decided to give an error because another update has to be installed before this one. So if you get an error like that, just move it off to the side, install it later once all the other updates are installed. So just running through these updates, what these are doing is these are preparing your system to, of course, get the ESU updates. So these are official update packages from the Microsoft Update Catalog, so there is nothing you have to worry about here. That other package would not still, still wouldn't install, so we're going to go ahead and restart after installing four of the five updates, and then hope that we can get the other one to install. After a restart, that additional package is ready to be installed, so we're going to go ahead and install that update, restart again, and then we'll be ready to install the Bypass ESU and download some updates from 2021 and 2022. All right, and here we are after the restart. So now we can finally open the Bypass ESU folder. We can open up the README if you want to read that. However, all the updates we've already installed and we're good to go. So on the Live OS setup, we can right click on that batch file and click Run as Administrator and let the batch file open. You will receive an option. We want to, of course, do the full installation of the ESU suppressor, the WU ESU patcher, and the NET4 ESU bypass. So we're going to click 1, and now DISM is going to run some commands. I'm not entirely sure what it's doing here, but it's patching and modifying your operating system so that you can actually receive Windows updates from 21 and 22. Once it's finished, it literally takes a few seconds. We just have to restart our system, boot back in, and then check for Windows updates. Once the OS has restarted, we can go ahead and open Windows Update and click Check for Updates. And now, in Windows 7 fashion, it's going to take a very long time to search for updates. No clue why Windows 7 likes to procrastinate so much, but it does take a long time to search for updates. Ten minutes later, we are now here, ready to download and install updates. There are 164, mostly because I didn't update this before the fact, but if we look at the important updates, we can see a, an April 2022 security roll-up, a 2021 monthly quality roll-up, and if we scroll down, we can see just general updates, malicious software removals from 2021 and 2022, which is certainly far past the end-of-life date for Windows 7. So it looks like our ESU patcher worked. We're now receiving the extended security updates for Windows 7, and until Microsoft decides to patch this, which it's been so long, I don't even know if they're going to think it's worth it anymore, you can now just get updates for Windows 7 whenever, however long you want. This is how we can get Windows 7 to last until 2023. With that being said, if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you're new around here, as I do all kinds of different technology videos, including device restorations. If you'd like seeing tutorials like this, definitely let me know in the comments below, and I'll consider doing more in the future. Thank you for everything, guys. I'll see you in the next one.